Let's see if we can take something that looks like this and make it sound something like this. So just really quickly, I wanted to uh, let you guys know that I'll be putting, probably putting chapters down here in the bottom. So you guys can just kind of skip forward past this inform informational uh, portion so you can get to what you want to see. So basically the history behind this is it's a uh, sort of a, I would say more obscure microphone than most. And uh, it's made locally to a company called uh, Cascade, sorry, by a company called Cascade. And uh, it's my Cascade Elroy number 102. Now, I don't know if that means it was a second one or if it was a hundred second one. I've seen ones with lower serial numbers, so that might be the case. But uh, I haven't seen very many of these floating around. And I use it. And I loved using it. I, I got it from a uh, an acquaintance of mine uh, many years ago for like 150 bucks. And uh, I don't know. I've used it. <laughs> I've used it faithfully ever since. I replaced the tube in it, and it did really well. But I had an idea. The old Neumann microphones had tubes in them as well. So I decided to see if I could sort of replicate that sound by getting an RK47 element and installing it into this bad boy here because it is a tube style microphone, tube type. You know what I mean. It has that in it and will be a direct competitor to this. It may or may not be, but that's something for us to find out. I also have some additional hardware to replace that piece with, which is nice and sturdy, which is the last one they had in stock, which is really cool. So thank you guys uh, to uh, you guys over there at Cascade. Also, by the way, this is not a paid promotion. This is something I'm doing on my own, on my own dime. So let's see if it's worth every penny. So one of the things I'm gonna do is do a before, after, and a mixed uh, version of whatever comes out of this microphone when it, after it gets built. So uh, stay tuned for that. I also need to do that because I don't remember which side was the input side. I want to bet that this was the input side and this is the output side. If you notice, it's shaped a bit more round on this, on this side here as opposed to this side. So we'll see. Uh, but I'm going to do some acoustic guitar stuff and I think it's going to turn out awesome. Okay, so I figured out which side was which to this guy right here. Sorry if I, I sound kind of weird and I know this thing is popping and snapping, so I'm gonna make this pretty brief. Uh, this is hooked up into my Apollo X8 with zero um, effects or anything that's going on in it. Uh, there's nothing in the unison that's powering this, really it's just the microphone itself and its uh, power supply. So uh, it's, not on, um, it's not on the omnidirectional mode, it's only on the directional mode. I can actually hear it popping, this is so weird. Okay, so let's do some acoustic real quick and then uh, I'm gonna shut this thing down before it does too much damage. <laughs> shut this thing down now I'm getting scared <laughs> okay so I've pulled this apart before and I'm looking at this and there's two two screws at the tops and what we're gonna do is take these off the sides anyway just to make it a little bit easier to work with these are kind of a pain anyway to work around we have our cables exposed which is nice let's take a little gander down inside of here so we can kind of see how these work and what I'm gonna do since this guy twists off, I'm gonna take this out. I'm just gonna just take notice of what size go to what. And uh, let's see if we can mark them, actually. I'm gonna mark one with a stripe of like, Sharpie. See, this one is the front. Yep, good, okay. You got a little bit of movement right there. So that's gonna be the front side, back. Front. And ground. So that's how I'm seeing it from here. And I believe that's the proper way we're gonna go about that. Let's see if we can get this back cover off. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take a picture of that before we go too far. There we go. Okay. Let's see. How are we gonna get that up? Couple of the clips are falling out. That's fine. No big deal. 
uh, if you want to take a look I got a couple of little boogers on there but we finally got this loose uh, just to save you the pain of watching me struggle for like 15 minutes trying to get those screws out of there but that's what she looks like little little old a little on the old side but uh, we have the gloves back on now because we're getting ready to open up this bad boy here so uh, let's just grab a little flathead real quick and knock this tape off of the sides here so now we got this bad boy open there we go and really there's not much of a difference between the two it doesn't look like it has all of the bolt holes or screw holes that the other one has it's a little thinner but uh, I don't know I think uh, yeah, I think as long as we have the bottom ones we should be good look at me shaking like I'm a madman so we got this in the pretty much the correct spot doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to add any of the other little bolt holes that kind of go on there it looks like we might be able to do one we finally got the ground in and I am shaking like a mofo. It's not because I'm nervous, I promise. It's because I might have had a little too much coffee. All right, let's feed, start feeding these bad boys through. So we got the ground in. We got the front and we have the rear. Look at that. Simple. That wasn't that hard, was it? Few moments later. Oh, my. Gotta get some more food. I got a lot more custom to do it. I should have walked away. I got nobody to blame here but myself. What is up with this screw? Yeah, I'm going to have to stop this and redo it. I finally got this part done. So the screw went in, uh, finally. Uh, obviously, it wasn't made for this piece of plastic, but, you know, whatever. So it's all kind of, it's all good. The only bad side is the uh, the Omni side. All right, we are connected. Now, before we go any further, before we tighten this thing back up completely, what I'm gonna do is keep it exposed and we're just gonna give a couple snaps and take a look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here's the crazy part. So if I do this, you can hear me just fine. This is actually the microphone. And uh, for whatever reason, these little dust covers over here, these guys right here, are what and this is what confused me and actually took me forever so yes this side is the side I plan to use it's clean this is a side that has the hole in it so I think I'm gonna fix that later but for right now what I'm gonna do is put these covers over there so you can see exactly what happened so I put this cover on right like no joke we haven't stopped yet and I'll stop touching this side hold on now I put this on Okay, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. The humming goes away. So it sounds like it's working really well. Um, so let me bolt this together. I'm gonna put it back on the stand and then we're gonna try to run it and see what we can do with having this thing by itself. This is awesome! <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, I don't need the other side, but man, was I stressed out. Okay, even though it does work, uh, let me. So they both work both sides do work let's flip it over to Omni and we'll switch it over to the single so this is the one side right now you can tell it's directional and now it's facing away from me still kind of has this little bit of a windscreen deal but uh, man it actually sounds really good okay so let's uh, let's bolt this back this guy back together and then I'll get back with you okay so she's all put back together now I mean I can now I mean, obviously this is the one I'm talking on, but uh, now she's all pretty much back together. I'm gonna take this uh, guy back here and put him on. Dude, that thing had me tripped out. I thought for sure I just like totally broke something bad. Like this whole microphone, what's it was gonna be a scrub. I'm, you know, I'm still a little disappointed that I messed up the um, uh, back end like I did. But you know what? It's the first time I've ever done it. And uh, I chalk it up to experience. We know not to do that next time. I have a little cool little 
Um, I think a technique is just I just push real hard back on the other end. I hope I don't have to do anything like this again soon. Very cool. That is working. So now what you're going to hear is uh, we're going to jump back on the git fiddle and then we'll do a full mix on this on this bad mama jamma. Okay. So here we are back. We got the acoustic going. And uh, I don't know. Let's see how she does. We'll keep the preamp right about here just to kind of match the uh, volume before. I did notice that it does seem a bit quieter. So let's see, uh, see what we come up with. There's also no popping and crackling and no under noise. Wow, that sounds pretty good. I like it. Perfect. All right, now it's gonna be in the mix. You guys ready for the mix version? Let's see what this baby can do. Tell mama that I said Everything's gonna be alright If I ain't home Before it's dark Well tell her don't you wait outside They say every dog Has got his day But I sure enough got mine A microphone In my left hand And a guitar in my right Singing like oh What did you think of that mix? I mean, I'm, I'm going to give my thoughts here in a minute, but to me, that was good. Okay, so uh, what I have pulled up here is Pro Q3 in the before and the after clips that I showed you uh, when I was playing with the, the, the head that was broken on this thing, and then I was playing it after the RK47 was installed. So on the left-hand side here is before, and on the right-hand side is after. So even if YouTube won't allow you to hear the difference, we can at least see the difference. We don't usually mix with our eyes, but in this case, uh, I'm using this for documented evidence to show that it, it worked. So check this out. All right, so I'm gonna end this right here on this high, high note, the uh, low string, the low E, I believe I had this in sharp, sharp or major. Yeah, so let's do this. Okay, so we're on that same string, and you notice that this is a lot more violent up here, or I should say louder, up here in the uh, 15K, so kind of right between 10 and 20. So we have a lot of an increase. We got a high slope right here, right after 5K. So it shoots up to 5, 7, 10, and peaks at about 15, 16, and then drops back down at about 20. Interesting stuff. Uh, the after with the uh, RK47 capsule, it's almost perfect. It's almost straight. There's a little high, and it kind of straightens out, straightens out, comes up a little bit, and then drops right back off. After about 5K, it starts to come up a second right at 7K, and then drops back down after 7, and then after 10. So, yeah, this is a huge difference. I'm not sure if you guys are even interested in this stuff, but this was really cool to see. Let's uh, let's try a strumming section. All right, so now we got a little bit of, sl uh, of a slower part here. Let's just try that one more time. Still, same results. A lot more flat across the board. This one's actually not so bad in the lower end. We still have some peaking going on here. What's that? About uh, right after 1K, so about 8, 850. 850, so that's normal. 
yeah, that's not so bad. Still has a really high end right up in here. The results are pretty much the same across the board as far as having a high end. Let's just check out the strumming. There we go. We'll hit one with a high right there. And let's do, look at this other side. Yeah. We got a lot of highs right here. And this is pretty smooth. Yeah, I'm a big I'm a big fan of it. I am a big 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 fan. Overall, I think this is great. This is a great thing. Okay. All right, so now it's time for my conclusion. In my opinion, is this worth the money? It is to me now because it's also fixed and I also have another microphone to use. But I had basically three things that I kind of wanted to, to bring up with this. Is it worth the time, the money, and the effort? I would say yes on all three. Uh, if you don't have the money and you have the time, take a few minutes to, or I should say, in this case for me, it almost took me an hour and a half, two hours to, to do this. Uh, what you saw was a very shortened version of what I went through to put this thing in. Plus, I did mess this up. I poked a hole in it. I'm not denying that whatsoever. I'm not saying that these results are set in stone, that you're going to get a better microphone every time. I took a chance. It probably even would have even sounded better if I had the microphone, uh, the element, if I didn't poke a hole in the back of the element. But if you're using one side, I think that's pretty close to what you're going to get overall. Even still, I'm happy with the results. It sounds wonderful. Uh, if you don't have the money, or if you do have the money, you can just buy a microphone all out and just be done with it. Uh, if you don't like it, you can always take those ones back, right? In this case, I was learning something along the way. This is nothing but an experiment to me, and it's a real-world experiment, which is why I'm so happy to be able to do stuff like this for you, because it's not some fake guy getting on here saying... If you get this microphone, you have to get this microphone. Let me tell you why. Because, you know, it's the greatest thing ever. And I was paid to tell you that. Nope. Nobody paid me to do anything. I did this all myself. Nobody's ever telling me what to do, what to say, and uh, anything of the sort. Really. Uh, I personally, out of my own thought and analysis, want to say shout out to the dudes at uh, Cascade. I think the guy's name is Ron or something. Don't remember. Uh, I think the one I spoke to was Mike. Yeah. And uh, shout out to you. Thank you for hooking me up with this bad boy. And yes, I did pay for it. It was not free. Uh, the, the new parts here because this was not because this was not going to fly. So thank you again for those parts. Uh, as for the element the folks over at microphoneparts.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for pretty much every one of these products. And you cannot find these, at least I can't, find these Cascades online anywhere. Uh, so if you find a good uh, microphone that you want to upgrade, great. They have a lot of upgrades on microphoneparts.com. So maybe they have something for you. Uh, definitely check them out if you can. But in the meantime, I don't have to tell you how YouTube works. I believe you guys can get it on your own. And on top of that, I believe it's a little demeaning and it's repetitive when you hear a whole bunch of channels saying that. But if you liked this, if you have any comments, please leave them. If you did like it, if you didn't like it, tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. It helps me in the future make better content uh, driven toward people who want to see it. Um make sure you subscribe and that was that's pretty much it i don't ever beg for these things i always put it at the very end while i'm over here getting all <laughs> trying to go too fast so i always put it at the very end of my videos to subscribe if you liked it tell me if you like it like the video thumbs up thumbs down doesn't matter do whatever you're gonna do all right you guys take care and have a very 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 good one and uh yeah work hard and put out more music Bye now. Oh, we're done. I'm done. <laughs>